Hi and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Wayne and I'm going to take you for a full video walk around tour of our 2012 Holden Commodore SS Series 2 sedan. Very, very well looked after example. Nice and clean through the front. Standard uh, thing you might see on a lot of SS's is scrapes around the corners of the front bars but you can see on this one it's actually really well looked after. You've got the fog lights down in the front bar chrome highlights throughout the bottom of the front bar there which is a nice update on the series 2. Moving around the side you've got the series 2 SS alloy wheels really good hand cooked tyre on the front here unmarked outside edge no gutter rash on that one there. Series 2 badging all intact in the front really clean example little things I like to point out no real scratching inside the door handle here you get a lot of that from fingernails and rings and so forth but definitely very tidy Moving down the back door, it's been super, super critical. You've got one tiny little touch up just on the door there. Most people wouldn't even point it out. Rear wheel here, again, in excellent condition. Moving around to the back, again, rear bar, all in excellent condition there. It's got four point color coded reverse sensors. The car is fitted with an exhaust, which we'll try and get a uh, good example of the note shortly. Badging in the back here. Open up the boot, a stack of space, really good for all practical reasons. You've got plenty of room in there for the golf clubs, baby prams, bags, anything you need. The battery on the SS is relocated to the boot here, tidies up the engine bay and also gives you really easy access if you end, end up with a flat battery. Carpet in the back is all in excellent condition there and in underneath you've got a full size brand new alloy wheel with a brand new tyre on there as well and all your jack and tools are fitted underneath there. If I'm going to be really harsh, it looks like the rear bar's actually just had the tiniest little knock just on there, but hasn't really caused any major paint damage there. Moving around to the passenger side, again, nice and tidy, no pimple dints or anything really untoward to point out. The back left alloy wheel, which is the one that's generally closest to the gutter itself, no marks around the outside. So the previous owners definitely looked after the car when parking. And again, looking at both the doors, the other door handles, even the back of the side mirrors, there's really no damage to note around the outside of this car. Certainly very, very tidy. And again, an unmarked alloy wheel. So four really well looked after alloys and a good clean example on the outside of this SS Commodore. Moving under the bonnet now, we're going to show you the 6 litre V8 engine that Holden is very, very famous for. They've had this for a long time before updating to the 6.2 car puts out 260 kilowatts of power with 517 newton meters of torque so very quick car for, for its time. Uh, with the AFM engine it runs an average of 12.3 litres per 100 k's. That AFM stands for Automatic Fuel Management System and what that does when you're cruising on the freeway instead of running all eight cylinders it actually drops four cylinders out to make the car more fuel efficient. The car's also got a five-star ANCAP safety rating with six airbags inside, so you get the fun of all the power as well as owning a safe sedan as well. So sitting inside now, we're going to give you a full run through of just the key features um, that you'd want to know about inside the car. So you've got the leather-bound steering wheel. On the steering wheel, you've got your stereo controls through these two rollers here, your Bluetooth controls, and also your audio and your trip computer. You will see it's got a navigation button, but I will note it doesn't have the navigation box that makes that work. In here, headlights on the dash, you've got auto headlights, adjustment there for the dash lights there. You've got your cruise control on the right hand stalk as well as your indicators and high beams. And then you've got your wipers here on the left hand side. In behind the dash there, you're gonna see obviously the instrumentation gauges. You've got uh, the electronic speedo in the middle. You can change that to a couple of different things, but it also shows you the current media, what CD you've got playing and the track number. Really easy, nice, uh, clean dash gauges there to look at. Moving through to the middle, the Series 2 update gave it the piano black finish throughout the center console area and it gave it the new uh, updated head unit. So this actually has the Bluetooth audio streaming. So when you pair your phone up, you can play it wirelessly through there or you've got stored CDs in there as well. Uh, USB and iPod connectivity through the center console, which we'll show you shortly. Down through the middle here, more stereo controls on the dash, and then you've got your climate control. So the climate control is dual zone, so you can set different temperatures to both sides. So you can have 23 on the left side, 
and say 21 on the right. So if you have an argument over who wants to be hot or cold, you can sort that out pretty quick. The fan speed, direction of air, windscreen, rear windscreen, external temperature, and your aircon button there. So all really simple to use and right there in front of the gear stick. Got a small storage compartment just down here in front of the gear stick. You've got your electronic stability control button there. And then this is the six speed automatic transmission with the sports mode on the side. So you can change the gears up and down yourself there as well. Down through the middle, you've got your door locks, your power mirrors, both sides, and then obviously power windows for all four doors. Twin cup holders in the middle. And in the center console, you've got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and your USB input and the 12 volt power socket in there as well. The SS comes standard with the cloth interior, all being really well kept, no major blemishes or scratches, cuts. It's actually been uh, very well looked after inside. The roof lining on the car is black. Standard Commodores will come with your light colored interior, gives a bit more of a premium feel. And then again, as you can see through the back, lots of room in the back there. Our cameraman's about six foot five and he's got tons of leg space in there, even with the front seat back a fair bit as well. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for taking the time to watch our walk around video presentation of our 2012 SS Commodore sedan. I hope you found it enjoyable and informative. If you do have further questions, call us on 9907 I am the used car manager here at Berwick Mitsubishi, and myself, one of my team members, will be more than happy to walk you through the process of a test drive, and we'd love to see you here at Berwick Mitsubishi and show you why we're a Victorian destination to buy a car from. Again, thanks so much for your time. Enjoy the video and we'll see you soon.